United Health Group. This stock has been an absolutely brilliant stock if you've been in this company for a while. It's over doubled its, itself over the last five years. It's been a good stock to be in um, United Health. So if you've been in the stock, you'll be very happy with your rewards so far. And shall we see it continue? That's what we're all hoping for. And that's what I'm here to discuss today about United Health Group. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to talk about the stock. We're going to do stock analysis through the key metrics, including revenue, net profit, EPS, P ratio, dividends, free cash flow, assets and liabilities, long-term debt, um, shares outstanding, and so much more. And I've added a new one to the list, um, the return um, of invested capital. This is one I haven't had in my earlier ones, but I'm going to bring it in now because it's a very important one for investing and I thought you used to serve it at the back end. And if you stay right to the end, as always, I will give you the intrinsic value possibly of this stock and whether it's a and where maybe a good time to buy if you're like me and you're looking to get a margin of safety before you invest into any stock. And most of the best people wait for the big dip before they buy. But some people say you just buy whenever. So that's the question mark. Some people say time in the market and time in the market there's all this talk as well to me it's about just buying it at the right price and you time that well if the, the, if you never get that time with, the, with that stock just don't worry just let it go wait for the next opportunity that's the way I see it because there's no point buying into something that's overvalued and we've seen it so many times with a lot of stocks GoPro Beyond Me Tattoo Chef um, GameStop AMC the list just goes on and on and on Tilray, um, there's so many stocks that have skyrocketed and crashed and burned into the oblivion. So you don't want to make that mistake. You want to buy the stock at value. So regardless of what happens, you should be safe and be still making a profit regardless and sell out if you need to. Or just continue to ride the wave of beautiful, beautiful performance. So United Health Group, let's get to it. First of all, revenue. Revenue is three hundred and twenty-four billion in twenty twenty-two. Expected to be better in twenty twenty-three, as it's a beautiful time to be in the health space. Health space seems to be one of these pharmaceutical companies seems to be just one of these groups that just continue to be a money-making machine, and they continue to grow and grow and grow. And let's be full uh, transparent. I do not own the stock. I used to own it, and I regret it ever since. Now. I'm not saying I had a whole lot in the stock, luckily. That's, this is early on in my investing career. But I do wish I held on and stuck to my guns. But because, like you out there or people that have been in the stock market investing a long time will understand that when you first get invested, you can sometimes run away when the stock price drops after you've brought it. Yes, you get scared, it's dropped 20%, 30%. You get worried, sell out. And you miss all the gains up and you're missing out on 500% plus because you were scared. So that's that's the thing. Or in this case, be more like 100 and something percent. But um, just give me the example of what you can miss out on when you don't buy in. Um, so so the revenue is pretty good. Net profit, which is a which is okay at 20 billion. 2022 expected to be better in 2023 as well. So. It's good stuff if you've invested into this company so far. Earnings per share of 24.87, which is very good. And the PE ratio is 19.5. Would you like that to be a little bit higher and see them growing a bit more? Possibly, if you really want to see the stock growing. But then you've still got a dividend of 1.55%, which is nice. Not huge at 7.52, but at least it's something for your money. Short interest, there's no interest, 0.56. So this company... No worry at this stage about bankruptcy, so you don't have to worry about that at this stage. Um, on current metrics, assets, $250 billion, I believe, um, from 152 in 2018, so they really got that skyrocket. And so has the liabilities just doubled from $188 billion from 95 in 2018. So the assets are going up, but so are the liabilities, and it's a little bit closer than they more liking. I like to see a double or i mean a hundred percent difference in between is my ideal at least for assets versus liabilities but hey it's the way it goes free cash flow um obviously it's improved from minus five billion at the end of t last year um 
to 10 now to 10 billion so that's an improvement but when you look at the debt on the long-term debt of 59 billion that's not good you'll be waiting six years to pay that off which is not good if you are an investor but it's it's not super bad don't get me wrong it's not super bad but to me if you can get rid of long-term debt altogether especially the high interest rates right now it's a good time to buy um, return on invested capital is okay at 10.9 percent better than a lot of companies but not anything out the, out of this world but definitely very nice shares outstanding 926 million um this has been something that's been very good for this company over a good long period of time the last six years they have absolutely been giving money back to you so boom they are giving you money back in terms of giving you more shares for your buck so they are doing very good in terms of giving you better share, um, getting you more piece of the pie in the stock. So that's very impressive. So where does United Health Group need to go? Well, of all these metrics, when you look at it, long-term debt, pay that down would be my first thing. But more importantly is how do we get that net profit up? How do we get that up? If we want to be up with the big dogs, for a start, you aim for 10%. So you've got to get another, what? 10 million, maybe even t double the, the net profit from here to be more juicy. And that's where they need to go if they really want to see the stock starting to move. And if they can find ways to cut costs somewhere, I think this is where United Health Group should be looking to get themselves going forward. Um, but anyway, we're here for the intrinsic value. This is what you're all here for. Um, why is What is the intrinsic value of the stock? Well, I use the Graham's calculator. This is just a simple one for anybody to use you can use it on trade brains um, just look it up you'll find an easy gram calculator easily um, accessible this is not um, absolutely everything to do with intrinsic value this is just one way they've calculated but there's better ways to probably calculate it. but this is just nice and simple for everybody at home just to get a fair idea of intrinsic value and then i'll give you my intrinsic value of the stock after so well, let's have a look at um, United Health Group here at the stock price around 485. It'll fluctuate from when I've recorded this, but I'm just giving a rough state of where it was. Um, with the earnings per share of $24.87. And we're going to start with a 5% growth rate. The current bond yield gives us a price of pretty much fair value of 479 as the intrinsic value. Now, if you think this company's going to 10%, if you think it can go to 10% growth a year, then you're looking at $739 a share right here, right now. Get your money in your pocket, not financial advice, out of your pocket and into the stock. Um, do your own research before you invest into any stocks. That's all I can say. And then if you believe it's somewhere going to go up, bang up to $50 earnings per share, then you're looking at a double up from there of $1,485, close to $1,500. Bingo! Um, but where do I see it when you look at all these metrics? Where do I see United Health Group as a stock price? Um, I'm more on the lower end scale. This is just on current metrics. Don't get me wrong, if they can blow these out of the park, it could be a whole lot better. But I'm going probably more on the safer side. I'm going to say about I'm going to say about 520 is where I see it currently. So it's clearly a little bit of value, but I really want to see the stock hot price pretty much dropping half for me if it can get to 250 or less then i would be saying load the boat um when i say load the boat this is the stock that's gonna win you the lottery no but if you want a nice consistent stock going forward no financial advice but this stock is one you can look and do do more research to understand more if it's a a company you might like to invest in because you know not health group all the metrics are looking pretty good at the moment Definitely a solid stock, but you're probably getting a premium at the moment or to fair value at the moment. So it's definitely not skyrocketed a whole lot of money. So it's not absolutely super overvalued or anything. But if you want to get that margin of safety, you've got to hope it drops or wait for the drop or just look for another stock if it never does. That's just basically just to give you an idea of a stock analysis of United Health Group as well as um, the intrinsic value. Hopefully you got a lot out of this video. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Share with all your friends. And have a great day out there.